So let's talk about Google online reviews. You, you probably just saw I'd made a spelling mistake there. So online reviews are probably the most important thing that you don't know about, about your business. You know, whether it's Facebook reviews, uh, you know, doctor review websites or Google My Business reviews, it's probably the one most important thing. As, just think about it. When you go looking for, you go traveling somewhere or you, you're looking for a hotel, you look for the reviews. And as soon as you see something negative that sort of impacts you, that person's out. So when you start thinking about the type of revenues you get per customer or per patient, and then you think about how many people you never see because you've got some poor reviews. Well, you can see how much that would impact your patient. So let's just say one patient over an annual, in an annual basis is worth $5,000. If 50 people a year decide not to use your service because of they read a poor online review, I mean, just do the math. So it's really important, not only getting good online reviews, but having a system in place within your practice to get those reviews, okay? So let's let's break it break it down into a few parts. Number the first part is if you don't do anything, you might get some good reviews and you might get some bad reviews. But it's always going to be mixed because remember, whenever people write bad reviews, that people are more inclined to write a bad review of about a business rather than a good review. It's just the nature of human beings. You have a bad meal, how do you get back at the at the restaurant? You write a bad review about them. That affects them. It can affect them quite severely especially if it's a good, well-written bad review. So how do you combat that? Well, you can't. You can't get them to remove it. In very special circumstances, you can, but it's usually got to be defamatory um, or, you know, on the boundary of, 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 of being legal to be able to write whatever they've written. So most bad reviews, are, I'd say 99.9% .9 of bad reviews are going to stick. Now, I'm a web developer. I've been in business 20 years. I've got some uh, past customers that aren't happy with me. You know, that's that's the, the nature, and it usually comes down to personalities. Um, uh, it You know, if, if I was a bad at what I, I did, and luckily I have uh, good reviews at the moment, but if I was bad at, at the service that I provided, then um, I, it would, it would re reflect on my reviews. But most people aren't bad at what they do. So think about it. You're going to get a bad review at some stage. So how do you react to that? If you don't know the person, it's probably a competitor. You just write, I'm sorry, but uh, I've, we have no records of, uh, of you ever coming into our clinic. If it's anonymous, just say, I'm sorry, I don't know who you are. Uh, uh, if you're anonymous, well, then you obviously don't want to be known. That's fine. But because we don't know who you are, we don't know whether you're a competitor. We do not... But be nice about it. Always professional. So get a good review, bang. Within within the same day, you should be writing a personal note to them. I mean, I've noticed on some some uh, some uh, accommodation, like hotels and that, they just write the same really nice message, copy and paste it 50 times. That's not personal at all. Um, so you're going to get some bad reviews, but let's look at how you can get good reviews. So for every one bad review, you want 20 good reviews. And that will probably keep your rating. Let's have a look at this one here. That will probably keep your rating at around five. Okay. So let this. This is just one example, and there's there's more uh, available. But let's look at this one here. This person's advertising their business on here, and they've got 20, 20 reviews, twenty five star reviews. So, are they all five star? No, there's one four star. But because of the weight of the amount of five star reviews you know, it's going to be five star. This one here is 34 reviews, four and a half. So they're going to have some negative ones. So they've got, you know, a couple of ones and twos, but they're still at 4.7 because the overall weight of the good reviews, you know, you know, I don't like anyone. And even if I wasn't happy with somebody, I, I don't think scam is a good, a good reaction. Um, I've written some bad reviews for people in my time, but it's usually after exhausting all other avenues to get a good review. Um, and this one here, again, will have, you know, it looks like they've got one or two poor reviews, okay? Now, if you're looking at reviews, they haven't replied to any of these people, the good re good reviews or bad reviews, and that's bad business, okay? So 
the best way to get good reviews is to get a system in place. So the people who are in your waiting room, you know, or or and giving them an incentives. Look, you know, if you know that they're happy with you, get your staff to uh, the front desk to say, hey, if you've got a couple of minutes, we would love for you to write us a good review. Can I just send you an email with the link? Yeah, great. So everybody uh, with your, with your reviews, everybody has a, a a reviews link. Okay, so when you go to reviews, you click on reviews on your left hand side. You'll have I've re, I've responded to every single one of mine, but you you will have a link where you can um, you can uh, share share a, a link for your reviews. So here's your business profile here. That's that that will basically go to your link to your page. I'm trying to find my reviews link. Um, I can't see my reviews link. Usually, it's on the home page somewhere. Um, no, that's not going to help. But you should have a reviews link, a link where you can actually click on your reviews. I can't see where it is now. Advertising. Ah, strange. So, but anyway, you you, you should you should be able to see a, a reviews link, which is going to be something similar to this. Okay, but that is that you can share that link as well and then people can give you a review. Okay, so um, what you want to do is have a system in place where your front tra uh, staff are trained up and, and it's documented on what process you go through to get these reviews. Okay, so always push for five-star reviews if you can. Um, if you want to give them an incentive like a discount when they pay or whatever to get a five-star review, fantastic. I, I had some electrical work done. And the electrician said to me at the end of it, I'll give you $50 off if you give me a five-star review. I mean, who was going to say no to that, you know? So um, I went onto his profile. That's how I found him actually on Google search because he had so many good reviews, but I never really, really looked that closely at how many he had. He had something like 250 five-star reviews. I mean, that is bringing him big business. So get a system in place within your practice, within your office of getting reviews and push for those five star reviews. Okay, it's going to be good for you. It's going to be good for um, it's going to be good for uh, your, your patients if you give them an incentive, but it's going to increase your business. Okay, so get a system in place. Even if you have a tablet that's opened up onto your review, but the problem is they'll have to log into their Google account. But you can you can do it that way where they can log in. But I think they'd be hesitant to do that. If you've got their details, just ask for their email address and say, "Hey, well, could could I put you on our mailing list?" You know, and also, bang, I'll I'll send you a link to give us a five star review, and the next time you come in, we'll give you a, a discount, or we'd love to get a five star review from you. Okay, so always push for for the reviews uh, as much as you possibly can, especially from uh, people that you know are going to give you a good review. Another little hint would be to go and search for your business name and look through all of the different websites that are out there um, that uh, that have your business information on them. You know, like do a lot of doctor review websites, if you've got any poor reviews on there, get get your staff to focus on getting some good reviews on those places. And you, on all of those doctor review websites, you can take over your profile. It doesn't mean you can re remove the reviews, but it, then you can start controlling the information on there and post, you know, up, keep the information up to date. Okay, so that's uh, reviews with Google My Business. Thanks, guys.